Integral to the Wattstopper Legrand Lighting Integrator System is the need to provide scheduling. Enter the H clock. This network clock has the capability to provide global scheduling of up to eight different lighting groups. Its basic functions are astronomical and standard time functions and seven-day repeating schedules with holidays. The clock can also be converted to a data line switch programmer. The H clock can be connected to any panel in the network and provide scheduling automation scenarios for all panels on the network. Simply plug the power and communication cable into one of the connectors. Seeing channel status displayed on the main screen indicates that you have power. You are now ready to set up and program the clock. In the next few minutes, this H-Clock Basic Training Video Part 1 will cover how to use the keypad, view the main menu, then set up the unit. Part 2 will cover programming. The keypad is equipped with cursor keys. The bottom and top arrows on the circular navigator are used to either scroll down or up through the available selections. The right and left arrows are used to further program your specific selection once you have chosen your option. The raise key will either increase in numeric value or guide the options in chronological order. The lower key will do just the opposite. Once the selection is completed, simply highlight Save and press Select. This is the H-Clock main menu, displaying current time and date and channel status, which can show off, on, mix, or blink before off condition. The screen will always flash program, allowing entrance into the program screens. Should setup be selected, the setup screens will display. To select setup, simply depress the right arrow on the circular navigator until setup flashes. Then press Select. The time and date must now be set. The Setup screen will automatically show the Time option flashing. Use the Raise and Lower keys to adjust the hour. Then shift the option to Minute using the right arrow and adjust again using the Raise and Lower keys. Follow a comparable procedure to set the current date, starting with the month, then the date, the year, if necessary, followed by the day of the week. The H-Clock is now governed by these settings. To accommodate the Daylight Savings time change, scroll until the Daylight Savings indicator is highlighted, then press the Select key. The DST screen will display. Press Raise to shift the autofill function to On. Then press the navigator's bottom arrow to highlight Save. The DST setting is now set to Yes, and the Springfall Sunrise Sunset settings are adjusted. Press Select to save. A specific geographical location is required in order to determine the correct sunrise and sunset. Simply scroll down using the bottom arrow on the navigator until Location is highlighted. Then press Select. The Location Setup screen will appear. The State indicator will be flashing. Use the raise and lower keys to scroll to the state or province desired. Highlight the city selection by using the navigator bottom arrow and apply the same procedure to the choice of city. Not every city can be included in the menu, so pick the closest city to the desired location and the coordinates will self-adjust. When save flashes, press select. The H-Clock setup is completed. Once again, highlight Save, then press Select. The H-Clock is now ready to be programmed. This concludes the H-Clock Basic Training Video Part 1. To continue, please refer to the H-Clock Basic Training Video Part 2.